Hey everyone, today I want to do a quick tutorial video on how to do some basic adjustments for your raw photos in Lightroom. So once you have your photo uploaded to Lightroom and selected and you're in the develop module, what you want to do is first begin by leveling your photo. As you can see here, this photo is not quite level. If you look at the water here, it's diagonal and uh, it's just this photo is just a little bit crooked so let's start by making our photo nice and level might take a couple tries here but we want to go ahead and try to make it as level as we can go to done and it actually looks pretty level like that the waterfall is nice and straight the water line is nice and straight if you were taking a picture of a beach at sunset you would want to level your photo with the horizon line so whatever photo you're editing once you have it nice and level we're gonna begin by going down to temperature right here at the very top of the editing module here so we're gonna grab temperature and we're gonna slide it right and we're gonna slide it left and we're just gonna try to find a nice balance and as you'll see from this tutorial everything that we do we're just gonna be working on finding a balance so once we got temperature I usually skip tint for now and move on to exposure under the tone tab so um, exposure you want to go a little bit over a little bit under and then find a balance looks pretty good about right there contrast same thing as you can see you move it further this way you start washing out details you move it this way and everything's over contrasted so overdo it underdo it and then find that balance there looks pretty good about right there and the whole idea behind um, this workshop is just going to be bringing out the details in your photo we're gonna discuss basic adjustments here under the tone tab to bring out as much of the details that we can so we've messed with exposure we've done contrast we're moving on to highlights as you can see the waterfall is still a little bit overexposed we just want to bring this down a little bit so that it's not overexposed. We want it to be at a perfect balance. So about right there. Shadows, you can see you bring it down. It's just like contrast. You bring it down, things get too dark. You bring it all the way up, things get a little bit washed out. So again, idea behind this editing workshop is finding balances. And there's no right or wrong number. Every image is taken at a different exposure. Everybody's editing style is gonna be different. So you're just going on what looks good to you. So it looks good at about minus five there whites you're gonna go up a little bit down a little bit and then work your way to find that balance same thing with blacks here finding that balance looks good about at zero so we've done those basic adjustments here let's take a look at the before and after you can check the before and after by hitting the backslash button under the backspace button on your keyboard so right now we're at the after let's take a look at the before you can see everything's a little bit whitish, bluish, a little bit washed out. We're missing some of the details in the rocks here, and a little bit in the trees, and let's look at the waterfalls a little bit blown out. So now we're going to look at after. You can see there's a little bit more detail in the waterfall, a little bit more detail in the trees, and in the rocks. Let's take another look here. So just using these basic adjustments from exposure, contrast, highlight, shadows, whites, and blacks, you're able to make a huge difference on um, the quality of your photo. Now if you've done these adjustments and you're still not quite happy with, with the details, you can restart and go over these again. Um, but sometimes you only have to go over exposure in order to make things look good, but we're just going to re-go over everything. Just creating a nice balance there. And the more you go over it, the more balanced everything's going to be. As you can see here, we're just re-going over everything. Editing is an art, and um, the more time you spend doing it, the better your image is going gonna, is gonna to be. Um, but there is something I want to warn you guys about. If you're sitting in front of your computer editing a photo, it's easy to get absorbed in your photo and start overlooking some things. Your, your, your brain sort of starts blending things together, and things that look good to you might not look good to other people. So what I would recommend you doing, if you've been editing for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, Go ahead and take a five minute break, come back, look at it with a fresh set of eyes, and when you do that, you're going to be able to notice things that you weren't otherwise able to notice. So always, always take breaks in your editing process, and um, you're going to have a nice cleaner image. So it looks pretty good right there. Let's take another look at the before and after. 
There we go, we got some details. Okay, so this is the first instructional video. I'm gonna have a lot more videos for you guys. I just wanted to show you guys a, uh, a little bit of information at a time so that this stuff's gonna stick with you. These are the basic adjustments. We got temperature and the tone block here. I hope you all enjoyed this editing tutorial. Stay tuned for the next tutorial. We're gonna be covering tone curves, which is a very powerful editing tool that's gonna take your post-processing to the next level. I also want to give a huge thanks for you guys' support. It means so much to me, and I really look forward to helping you all on your photography and editing journey. Stay tuned.